Hey there, everyone, this is Valcal playing RTTC A and uh, it's there rising right tide, rising that tide rises. Is this a level I think it is? Dang it, it is maybe. I don't know, I remember a dolphin level giving me a lot of ire, but I forget if it's in this game or VIP 5, which I admit is a weird duo of game to think about, because they're very different experiences. I think there was actually just another dolphin level in VIP 5, like, so I, instead of, like, vertically scrolling like that, but I think it was one of the dolphins that's moving in a narc. Not these strictly vertical dolphinos. Uh, whoa! See, see, that's, that's, that was my issue, is that they, if you fall, sometimes, you know, you, you just kind of fell, and it just felt bad. Cause there's a way to kind of like infinitely ride dolphins upward, like I'm kind of doing here, semi-effortlessly, in a way that's making my doubts feel really silly and disingenuous. Hey, I was going- No, it's this part, right. I think. Like, it gave me a lot of- It's not the part I was thinking about explicitly, as I was saying earlier, but... Yeah, this is- This is super awkward. I guess you wanna- You're supposed to- Oh, uh, see, and then you fall, and then you start over everything, and then you get hurt in a dumb way. Oh, yeah. Okay, and you can use this pipe to reset. Alright. No, this is way more doable than it feels like maybe. No way, you go in this pipe! Right. Right, right, right. And it brings you to red zone. Hey, dolphins. Yeah, I, I, rem I, I remember that from my old playthrough, because it's a really awkward kind of going up thing. Oh, okay. So you don't use the P-switch to go in that pipe up there. I think that's just nothing. I don't know! But yeah, I, I just remembered going in that pipe. Oh no, it's Molten Red Zone Zone Land. Beware the crab apples. Richard, always goofing it up. How's it feel like to be a stereotype, Richard? Alright, you got a mushroom here and more dolphinos. Because the dolphin hop, they just don't stop. Even if you have a hardware storm. A storm of hardware just coming after you. Uh, okay. This kind of works, even if it feels really bad. Richard there is hovering around a big mouth. Uh, and here I don't know what really to think. Other than I might die if things continue this way, but they didn't! Hooray! Are there coins there for synergy, for anatomy, for apoplexy? There is no answers to be found, Urchin. Welcome to a significantly more average level part. <laughs> like, it feels weird to do Thai dolphin hops, but it's just not something you, like, encounter ever. Like, it's very unique. You have to grant that. And here, these pipes, like, they are bright fuchsia. Like, you, that's really unique, too. You gotta give them that. 
And urchins just kind of wobbling about. Well, I mean, that's not like super duper duper unseen ever, but still kind of unusual. I just killed a guy, and I killed another one. That other dude thought he was safe, but now I'm sad he's gone. If you got a shell in your hand, you can destroy the whole universe and mess it up that way too, if you want to. It's, it's your choice, really. Oh, I thought I could grab it back, but I can't. You've got to spin to win to spin that win and spin it some more. There's a coin there. Oh, and there's a dragon coin down there. All right, I see. Uh, this is kind of... Whoa, yeah, really, there is no other words for it than whoa. Oh, it is the best way I have found to exprimate the emotions I'm feeling right now. Alright, so you, know, you don't want to accidentally kill that dude, or you can use this block regardless if you accidentally kill that dude. It turns out, why? Why is that block there? It's such a random thing to have. Is it supposed to bop you when you're trying to do jump and kill you that way? Get you hit the turtle? Cause I can see that, that, that. What? What are you doing here? Just coming out of normal. Aw, oh, man. Why'd you do that? Now that I know that this is a secret Ted cannon, like I'll use that to my advantage, but like if, when you don't know, man, like this is easier. Uh, I don't know, I think I'm like. I guess otherwise it would be impossible, but I don't know, man. I just, just coming out and here I'm like, where's land? I don't know. Let's fall down. All right, there was no danger anywhere, but you never know. You just never know. And danger is one of those things where like can be a kangaroo. You never know. You never know if it's a kangaroo. This is the important part about national health safety. You just never know. Never know! Whoa! Almost screwed that one up. It'd be easier to just do the jump and ignore the eerie. Uh, that literally made it harder. Or at least made it feel a lot less safe. Uh, why is Ted everywhere here? Not that I don't want him around. But he just always asked to borrow money. And you know he's never gonna give it back. That's a tragedy of sand. It's the miraculous story of Torpedo Ted brought to you live in front of the live studio audience of Oysters. Oh boy, there's a cave up here going up. Oh, no, we're not doing that cave though. Not yeah, no, this is. No, see, so you got paint or you got slate. Yeah, you got nothing else. You know what? Let's tightrope our troubles. You know, it's tussle, trouble, tightrope, tussle, tussle. Check it out, we're in the sky! You set a sight on a castle close to the sky. He wandered. Would he find the same pattern there? He felt nearer to a hidden truth. Yes! Dogs can't vote! That's the truth! Check out all these ropes here, son! Teleport wizard fire! Charlie, you're wearing a teal outfit. Please do not imitate the Cacho. 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 I, I forgot how to pronounce this title. I am the Goof Troop Lord. Welcome to Sausage Country, I guess. Or you gotta jump on a turtle. That's very cruel, a notion. You find a turtle in real life. Don't, don't just jump on it. Like, what? Also, football's here. Again, can't, you know... I can't, I can't just exaggerate the amount of joy I have about having a fire flower here. 
Fire Flower! This is like one of the Mario hacks where Fire Flowers feel just so powerful. Maybe it's because you never get a K, but it's just a lot of the obstacles are legitly like enemy based. So, you know, yeah, having a Fire Flower, real useful. I'm not getting that in case a farmer comes along and needs to set fire to his uh, collection. Prized Mecha figurine, because, you know, doesn't want his wife to find out after 20 years of marriage. He knows that that'll just be enough to break the camel's back, and they can't afford to go to the vet, you know? Well, that was just... Look, it's just when you get a midpoint, you gotta pay your, your, your pittance. And that sometimes is getting a hidden, because it doesn't matter. Check out that rope! It's on an engine! What a crazy invention! Uh, you're probably not supposed to jump there. Whoa, this, there's some weird setups here. No, you're not supposed to jump everywhere, though, Cal. You're supposed to, like, use the lower portion of the rope to dodge things. But, in my broken mind, I find that, oh boy, okay. Jumping feels safer. <laughs> Here, Ax and Jinx predicted that someone would feel that way. And, uh, I got, I got hurt. Emotionally. I'm not a fan of that. Is that gonna be a mushroom? How do you- oh, I guess if I had reacted high quickly enough, I could have gone up there. I need to stop just jumping every time, man. Alright, I feel like the camera could be- okay, now the camera's a little friendlier. Alright, there's always a middle one that always- Fuba! Yeah, okay, that was scary. I didn't like that a lot. Alright, this is the end of the line. We're finally at our stop. Yes, we are! Oh, that went well. That went well! That, honestly, that could have gone bad in so many ways, in so many directions, in so many produce aisles. But it didn't. And therein lies the key. Welcome to Purple Zone. Check out is between 5 and 10 p.m. 9 is subpar the optimal amount of lives, but... Look, sometimes beggars, they, they can't be choosers, they can't pretend, oh, should I do this? I don't think I should. Stonewall Falls, let's give it a shot. Feels like a bad idea, part of me is saying right now. I was above you! <laughs> stupid, stupid, stupid. Uh, one more like that, and I'm gonna go like, nah, finally I'll do this tomorrow instead. I, I you know, when I saw the level, wood fall, stone fall, stone wall, stone wall, stone zone, um, I didn't expect football injuries to be a thing. But it seems to be a growing trend. Except now it's, oh no, this is gonna be a lot worse. <laughs> oh no, yeah, uh, hmm. Oh, and these guys are there too? Magical. I mean, I enjoy the little hook-like graphics. Put on the vines. They're like hooked on to the air. Is that the message you're telling our youth? Or that they should try to ride caboose? No, what, what does that even mean? See, so... The truth about these vines here, if you can't tell, is that you don't follow them automatically. Like, Mario just stays put where he is. He does not go down with a vine. You need to basically manually follow them where you're going. And it's super awkward, and as you could see, a lot of these vine segments near the end are like two segments long. So it's very easy to not be grabbing one. Um, all things told, this is pretty much, you know, the Magnus Open <laughs> of level design. And you got, you know, these going along too on the side for added adrenaline. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm expecting to die a few more times, honestly. That's just how it is. Hopefully it won't be the case, but that's just how it is. Maybe I didn't find the best spot to follow here. But I mean, like, when you see a cavalcade of greeneries 
is rushing downward to meet you. You don't always, don't always have a say in how you will relate to the universe, right? Like, that's just how it is. Whew. <laughs> Sudden closing walls again shift the round's perception. That's not subtle, friend. You could see through the cracks as they gradually fell. One after another. Yeah, that was a good description of what happened. Oh, I'm starting to have weird amount of trouble around the corner of things. And I wish I knew why. Uh, cause they've been... Oh, what? Like, I saw it coming. I guess it went down way faster than I expected. I'm just losing lives for nothing. Like, okay, please, please don't lose lives for nothing. Each life is precious. More importantly, uh, if I game over, I need to redo that first half. Then I don't want that to happen, if possible. So it looks like we're gonna have to look at the pattern around the crevices, or whatever it is Mario was internally telling to himself. That's what I did! Victory has been floundered. For now, the very least. Oh. This time with Oh, the bow. Where are you at? Okay, there's nothing indicating where they are, you just kind of have to feel it. That's great. At least here it's jumps. I can do jumps, I can do platforming. Oh, boy. No, in terms of, in terms of feel, this is weird. Yeah, I bounced on a potobo and I didn't complain about it. Oh, boy, that's because I didn't have to. That's just because it was purely optional. Nah, kind of. In a matter of speaking, optional. The best kind of option. <laughs> the option that is not an option is always clearly the best. So yeah, we're back to, you know, single tile hopping here. Another popular sport in rice challenge. The most challenging rice to consume in the world. Right here, live. Basking in motor oil for the pleasure of all. To whom have eyeballs or lungs, that guy just fell off like an idiot. This guy's in a hurry. <laughs> this guy's in a hurry, too. Just stop it, please. Alright. Oh, feels awkward. Yeah. Feels downward. Yeah. Ugh. I just killed a whole bunch of footballs. How do I feel about that? Mostly positive. I mean, I'm not gonna change your mind, but... Isn't that kinda weird? Woo! Actually, this level went a lot, but like, today was levels that went a lot better than I expected them to be. If that can be a recurring pattern, I'm mostly going to be happy.